Welcome to this week's um, book talk. We're gonna get started first with one of our electronic resources. It is LOTE Online for Kids. LOTE Online for Kids is one of the electronic resources that our guests get for free with their membership. It includes picture books in world languages like German, French, Arabic, and many more. Check it out. You can access it by logging in our catalog uh, online and scrolling on the electronic resources section to find it. Please look at the arrows on the picture. African Elephants is our first choice for today. It's a book written by Kately Dooling and it is a non-fiction book in our early readers collection. Very simple text. You can use it with even younger kids than that and teach them some facts about elephants. We are also gonna talk about silencio, quiet. Probably that didn't sound right because it's in Italian. But this is part of our bilingual books, everybody bilingual books. And we have uh, books in 22 different languages. So please check it out. We don't have a big collection, but we have some books in 22 different languages. In this book, a little toddler uh, enjoys a range of sounds that they can enjoy at home while everything is quiet. SOS, Society of Substitutes by Alan Katz is a great series for young readers that are a little bit nervous about starting chapter books. What's a kid to do when he discovers that his pet ferret is actually an evil mastermind? Well, if you're Milton and your mom is a member of the super secret, super powered society of, sub of substitutes, you team up to save your school. With plenty of action and humor and lots of illustrations, this book will appeal to new chapter book readers. All right, this week we have Forever Home by Jenna Ayu. In this graphic novel, Willow's military family is finally settling down and has purchased a forever home. Only one small problem. The house is haunted and the ghosts don't want humans to stay. The ghosts have been driving people away for decades. However, Willow really loves this house and will not move again. Who will be more stubborn, Willow or the ghosts? This book has clear, spare artwork and is really funny and makes a good distinction between the ghosts and the humans and has a really cool possessed cat. <laughs> Forever Home is a must read. Next we have Aggie Morton Mystery Queen, The Body Under the Piano. Young Aggie deals with her father's death by writing mystery stories. Her mother does not approve. When she and her new friend, Hector Perot, discover an actual dead body, they must solve an actual mystery. This series is based on the imaginary childhood of famous author Agatha Christie and is sure to delight mystery fans. How can you pass up this opening? Chapter one. I will tell first about making a new friend and save the dead body for later. This follows the traditional rules of storytelling. Lull the reader with pleasant scenery and lively dialogue. Introduce a few appealing characters and then, aha, discover a corpse. Find out what happens next in Aggie Morton. Fans of historical fiction will love Reba's Rebellion, a novel in verse for teens by Margarita Engel. Set in 1920s Cuba, Rima is fighting for women's suffrage alongside her abuelita and other feminists. Rima faces even harsher treatment than most due to the circumstance of her birth in this fast-paced tale. You can find this book and all the others that we talked about today at Pflugerville Public Library. 